Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to mount a navigation system to this bike, a uh, Yamaha Tenere 700. I am an owner of a Garmin Montana 600 series GPS and I will show you how it is mounted to the 12mm accessory bar and how it is connected to the electrical system of the bike. Stay tuned for more. Here is my uh, GPS, the Garmin Montana 610. And uh, this GPS unit uh, is uh, mounted to the bike in this cradle, which Garmin uh, calls the rugged mount. It's very easy, fast and easy to mount the GPS, and it is very fast and easy to remove it from the bike. And this GPS has internal lithium ion battery, but could also be uh, run by ordinary AA uh, penlight battery if the lithium ion battery is um, discharged. So I have uh, selected to uh, um, route the power from this cradle to switched power on the bike which means that the GPS unit will turn itself on when I turn on the ignition. Then it boots. So let's uh, wait on that. Uh, one of the things I dislike with these uh, old uh, Garmin or old Garmin GPSs is that they have a quite long uh, boot time. Uh, the reason for me to connect the, the mount here, the rugged mount cable to switch it power is that I don't want to forget that the GPS when it's charging and uh, running it uh, draws current from the motorcycle battery. So if you are unlucky and forget to turn it off you may drain your uh, motorcycle battery. So now the unit is on. And when I now switch off the bike, turn it off, it asks if you want to uh, let the GPS run on batteries, its own batteries, then I can push the button remain on, or I have the option also to switch the GPS off, which I do now. So you have two options when you are connecting the rugged mount to the bike. Number one is to supply it with power from battery. Number two is to supply it with power from a switched power outlet on your bike. And there is a two pin power outlet on the right side of the bike, which you uh, may use. And that is the outlet I used for my setup. The cable uh, contains a lot of uh, uh, wires. The plus is the red one. It's quite obvious, obvious because the fuse uh, is uh, mounted to that red wire. You don't need that fuse if you connect to switched power, but you should use the fuse. Don't cut it off if you are connecting, uh, connecting to the battery. The black uh, wire is for the minus. So if you are connecting to battery, connect the black wire to the minus on the battery. If you are connecting to the power auxiliary power output, the switched power on the right side of the bike, you should connect it to the minus in that connector. As the cable is quite long, you have to uh, get rid of uh, too much cable. So then I think it is the best to cut the cable and uh, take off insulation of the leads you are going to use, the red and the black one. The cable also contains a audio output because uh, some of the Garmin uh, um, GPSs uh, don't have uh, Bluetooth uh, audio communication. So then you have the option to take out audio from the audio 3.5mm jack 
which is integrated in the cable. I don't uh, need uh, that audio, so I uh, just uh, cut it off. And I also cut the cable in a length that uh, was suitable for my mount. So now I want to show you how the rugged mount is mounted to the accessory bar and how I have routed the power cable. My GPS is uh, mounted into the rugged mount from Garmin. And the rugged mount is mounted to the 12 mm accessory bar with an uh, adapter mount. And uh, I have found uh, two options. Uh, the one I'm using here is uh, a, a, an adapter from uh, Bike Pen R, the CRF13 adapter. But uh, also uh, Rally Ride products in the UK sells a very nice adapter uh, for uh, this task. So now let us see how the cable from the rugged mount is routed down to the optional uh, power output on the right side of the bike. So the cable from the power connector to the GPS is routed here down along the right side of the windscreen behind this uh, plastic and down to the inside of uh, the right side panel about in this area. So I will remove the side panel and show you how the cable is connected. It comes out here and goes all the way to this area where the connector is located. The best solution would of course be to uh, connect the plus and minus from the rugged mount into a connector which suits the bike's uh, connector. But I hadn't access to such a connector and you would uh, anyway have to solder the wires from the uh, rugged mount to the connector and then connect the connector to the bike's connector. So I found it a lot more easy to just cut off the bike connector and solder the pluses and minus together and I secured it with a strap and of course isolated it here. So this is uh, how I uh, mounted the GPS to my bike. And uh, I think uh, that is a great solution. The GPS unit uh, is uh, okay to look into from seated position and also while riding standing. So that is uh, a great compromise, this position of the GPS. When I am doing uh, adventures, long rides, many days, I prefer also to have a backup solution. And that is my mobile phone. I have an app here, which is the Guru Maps. And I am doing all my route and track planning on uh, Garmin Basecamp and I transfer the routes and tracks both to my Garmin unit and also to my mobile telephone. So uh, I have the same tracks and same routes on both units. I uh, will mount the mobile telephone in a position like this and power it from the 12 volt power outlet on the left side on the instrument panel. When I'm navigating, I uh, zoom a little bit out on my mobile phone or my GPS unit and zoom in on the other. So I have the overview of the route or track on one unit and more details on the other unit. That's all for now. Thanks for uh, watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.